to introduce my talk I've decided to bring you out into the vicarage garden to introduce you to a friend of mine this dear lovely olive tree it's looking a bit scrawny now and the reason is because I've messed up over the winter I forgot to uh, water it I brought it inside thinking I'd be protecting it from the cold but decided that olive trees don't really need very much water and uh, it dried up and of course it died or at least I thought it had died but I decided to give it another chance because the tree is actually quite special to me. It was given as a leaving gift when I left St. Peter's Halliwell when I finished my curacy there by a group of the older congregation members who I met with regularly for a midweek group. And so it's something that I treasure, that I want to keep and I want it to carry on, not just living, but thriving. So I decided I would give it another chance. I cut back the branches, uh, and I noticed as I cut them back, some of them still had a bit of green in the centre. And so I just kept talking to it nicely and nurturing it and waiting and waiting. And as I waited, slowly I started to see new buds of life appearing. It took quite a few weeks. But now, as you can see, the tree has taken on a whole new appearance. The, the trunk was originally spiral wrapped uh, when it was bought and given to me but there was no leaves coming out of it originally. Now, lots of new shoots have appeared. The tree, I think, is gonna be transformed into something that looks a bit different to what it originally did. And I'm quite excited to see the difference that's gonna occur through it. It's been through some tough times, you could say, but I, as the gardener, have shown some patience with it to give it another chance and see how it through these difficulties perhaps it's going to transform into something new maybe even more beautiful than it originally appeared perhaps that's a bit of a parallel parallel for us in our lives as we're living through times of such stress and turmoil and difficulties that God may well work in us to use those difficulties to grow us into the people he would have us be. And of course, part of that today is how we can grow in patience through these difficulties.